Hello everyone, Shinto Bean here playing some more Warhammer Combat Cards Ranked Mode. Currently, my Chaos Forces are ranked number 3rd of my factions, and we're going to be playing a thematic deck here led by Glogarthrox the Foul, who did get a slight buff to his stats recently. He now does a little bit more damage, and he has ranged debuff instead of uh, melee debuff for his ready type. Still has a pretty weak special rule, uh, but to make the best use of it, you want to run things with Endless, like uh, the Poxwalker here. We also got the Nurglings. And just a whole bunch of Nurgle and Death Guard. Uh, we've got uh, the, the biggest guy is, of course, the Great Unclean One. One of my highest level legendaries at level 11. Uh, the thing heals quite a bit now. 20 at the end of each turn, and Poison deals 20 damage at the end of each turn as well. So, yeah, pretty, pretty decent. Uh, as long as he doesn't get, like, blasted away in one turn by, like, a Lord of War or something. Uh, we got Volgrar. This guy has a pretty low health for his cost now, but uh, decent damage output and uh, pretty resilient with the regeneration and fear. And then we've got uh, the Lord of Virulence. This guy also has poison and uh, anti-infantry for his secondary trait. Pretty decent uh, damage output there. Lots of poison in this deck. We got the uh, the Plague Marine as well. And then a few more support cards. We got the, the Plague Surgeon that can heal. And then the, uh, the little Shambler with Taunt. So let's go ahead and deploy. And uh, we'll see these Nurgle forces in action. Alright, we are up against Lieutenant Tulmeron, who has the initiative. Lots of bodyguards. And pretty high level cards. They're also going ranged, which uh, I have not so much defense against. Um, we'll go ahead and drop the Poxwalker here. Uh, we can counter deploy. So, with uh, Glogarthrox, you do want to put like these weak dudes in front of their strongest cards to massively nerf their uh, their attack power which we're gonna try to do here but I'm not sure how it's gonna work out because I mean they're already gonna be dealing lots of damage with those two guys yeah I'm afraid that aggressor might just be able to well I was gonna say he might be able to kill uh, the plague marine in one shot but uh, fortunately we do have the Shambler here, so he is actually going to be the one taking the damage from the aggressor, and then the other guys will go into the Poxwalker. So I think that works out pretty well. 130 damage from that attack, that's pretty massive. But he is getting his damage reduced, and he will get poisoned as well. All right, so our turn. I think we're gonna we're just gonna bring out the great unclean one. Uh, he won't quite be able to kill anything. But we can at least uh, poison them, and I think actually we do want to go Psychic here so we can just debuff their ranged attack. So Nurgle's Rot, reducing damage by 20%. They're still doing a lot of damage, though, thanks to the, the buffs. I mean, every stack of Lieutenant Tomeron's special rule increases their damage by 20%, so yeah. I think we'll, we'll bring out uh, Volgrar so we can get some regeneration going on him. And then we'll go with... Do we want to bring out the Nurglings? I guess, uh, sure. Bring out the Nurglings for now. And I think we'll... Well... Yeah, we'll go... We'll go with the melee here, though I think... I don't know, if he moves that Storm Talon gunship over into... Uh, across from the Great Unclean one, that's going to be pretty painful. He's moving it over there, though. It is going to be getting uh, increased stats, but uh, the fear is reducing the damage, so... Um, still going to be doing quite a bit after that uh, scout, though. 131 damage. The Nurglings, oh wow, 160-some to the Great Unclean one as well. But he's been regenerating quite a bit, so I think he's he's fine there. Uh, 91 damage on the Storm Talon. So we can keep going uh, melee here. Uh, poison the Eradicator over there. And, yeah, I think Volgar will survive one more turn, but this is uh, quite close. Got the Biker getting hit by the Nurgle's Rot, so he's doing uh, a lot less damage now. Um, let's go with, uh, I think we'll... Yeah, I guess uh, we'll go some healing here. And can Volgar survive for another turn? I'm not entirely sure if he can, if they decide to move the Storm Talon gunship. 
over, but uh, actually we do have the range debuff from the Plague Surgeon, so that should be uh, pretty handy. Now I haven't actually been poison making too much use of the poison though. They brought out a barrage unit, so that's going to be dealing some extra damage. Uh, going to be pretty close. Wow, that was uh, very close right there. Uh, but fortunately, Volgar does survive for at least one more turn. Uh, he is going to go down on the next turn, I think. Yeah, to the barrage damage, actually. Poison's going to knock out the biker. Man, that Storm Talon gunship is still alive. And it's moving across from the Great Unclean one now with a massive ranged attack. 200 damage. And they got a scout as well. 288 coming pretty close to killing the Great Unclean one, but he does survive. Uh, we got the Lord of Virulence we're going to bring out uh, across from the Scout Marine. Uh, Anti-infantry should be enough to take that guy down. Plague Surgeon is really low, though. Um, I mean, we could debuff their ranged attack, but I... Th I don't know. I think the Devastator, if that thing moves across from the Great Unclean one... Um, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be dying probably. Well, we'll risk it, I guess. Uh, they have, let's see, two more bodyguards. The scout does go down to the poison. Okay, good. That guy. Oh, well, never mind. Not so good. They have a lot of scouts in this deck and inspiring presence too. Wow, the furious charge. I think they're gonna come close to destroying everything here. Um, if the Lord of Virulence goes down, which he's very close to dying, but wow, then the Great Unclean One survives with one health? Okay, that was just pure luck, surviving this, so... Um, obviously the superior deck here is uh, Lieutenant Tomron. Um, but we did manage to miraculously pull off a victory here by pure luck. And we can uh, finish off these guys pretty safely with the um, the melee attacks here. Anti-infantry dealing a little bit of extra damage there. Tomron does survive for one more turn. They will be able to kill the Great Unclean One if they decide to go ranged. But uh, nope, they're going psychic actually, which means they're just going to die to poison. Wow, that was uh, that was kind of an in a much more intense match than I was expecting at this level of ranked. Uh, obviously, Glogarthrox the Fowl's uh, special rule, really not that great. I think it's definitely one of the weakest special rules of any Warlord in the game uh, at the moment. Um, I know they've been trying to buff a lot of the weaker ones recently, like the Corpse Lord is a lot better now. Like even Mago's Dominus is quite a bit better, but Glogarthrox I think is still a little bit behind. Certainly wouldn't recommend using him. Um, I didn't really make the best use of the special rule in that game, but uh, you could see, like, Tomron's special rule was just really outpacing uh, Glog's rule by a wide margin with all those uh, multiple ranged buffs. So yeah, let me know what you think of uh, old Glog if you use him in ranked mode either because you have to or just for fun. But that's it for this one. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.